Okay, we are starting a new Tumblr today using a template. Um, yeah, I will link the designer on Etsy down below where I buy these templates from. I cut this one on double-sided adhesive sheets from Amazon. These ones don't rate the greatest, but I honestly, and there's no brand name or anything. Um, it doesn't even say what it is on the SKU. But, um, none of them really rate that great, so it's kind of hard to judge this particular one. But I am going to trim this down, and I lined it up kind of wrong on the machine, so the bottom doesn't even have any anything for me to trim off. Um, before I started, though, um, and you should do this if you're new to templates, this is for a MakerFlow 20-ounce skinny. That's what I bought. She has a ton of brands and sizes and things on her Etsy. So, this is my 20 ounce skinny. I had my Cricut draw it first. And I don't do this with every single one. I mean, I'm comfortable with the sizing. I just did this to show you. So, I cut it on paper, or I drew it on paper. And um, the adhesive will stretch a little bit. And obviously, the paper doesn't, but it does line up. I tried to draw a straight line on the tumbler, and if you do a template, you can mark your color palette. Um, so that's what I did, one, two, three, and my void spaces, I'm going to do back to the one. So that's what that is, but I'm going to go ahead and trim this down, and I'm going to leave just the tiniest, no, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to leave any extra. But I'm going to cut on the line because it does cut an outside edge. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know if you can see any of the cutting on this. Um, I also did test cuts on this to figure out what setting worked on mine. Um, or to my Cricut with my blade. So I ended up cutting on um, the paper minus setting. That's where I got the best cut. And like I said, I cut this, I should have slid it down a tiny bit on the mat. But it should it should line up all right. So now this, this has three layers. It has the front paper, it has the back paper, and it has the adhesive layer. I don't want to touch the front layer yet. I do want to and sometimes it doesn't want to separate where you want it to separate. So you might have to catch a corner and lay the adhesive down. Because I need the adhesive to stay on the front layer, obviously. And it should not have cut my adhesive layer. It should only have cut the top layer of paper. That's what I was going for, so. I'm going to fold this back. I'm going to put my cup down with the top here with that hopefully semi straight line here. And I'm going to try and get it lined up as best I can. Um, this was one of the complaints on this paper was that it peeled here and there had paper shreddies, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And you're just going to apply this like a full vinyl wrap at this point. And 
and really, really hope it lines up because this will be trash if it doesn't line up. It'll never go back the way it started. It's not like vinyl. It's not going to peel back off clean to let you reposition. So, I'm going to try and wipe that off real quick. I thought I had a rag handy, but I don't. I'm going to grab one. I just need the tiniest little rag to pull. To pull that off, I'm just using a little bit of alcohol. That probably wasn't good, but... So I am pretty close to lined up. If I have to fill a little bit with Mod Podge, I guess I'm going to have to. Um, when you download the file, it's going to have the cut image and it's going to have a sizing piece. Make sure you hide the size piece because you won't need that. Um, and um, I'm trying to think of what other tips I can give you. But make sure you hide the size piece. Like I said, duplicate it and change it to draw to test it. Because I am I really, this should have lined up. I'm slightly off at the bottom. But it'll be what it'll be. And then if you want to go ahead and mark you know, which piece you're going to work on first because some of these little pieces get confusing. So, like I'm going to count out one, two, three. This will be, um, ooh, not that one, just this little tiny piece here. I'll have to remember that when I get to there. But that's one, two, three. So one, two, three. But that is part of that one, two, three. Because I'm going to start with my center hearts and my miscellaneous pieces. So that would be a one, two, three, and a one, two, three. Especially when it comes to the seam side, you're going to want to be careful where you count to. So, I may have missed some, but um, I do have some Mod Podge handy and a brush handy, just in case. I've got some papers handy. And... I don't love the colors I picked, but I'm having a hard time picking colors. So I've got this strawberry wine from Bee's Bling. It's pretty personal. It's hotter than you pink. And I have cherry blossom from um, Glitter Bees. But I'm kind of thinking about doing them one, two, three to break up the darker colors and to use more of that hotter than you pink. So. I only need one sheet of paper right now. And I'm not going to make you watch all of these. But because of the way I cut this, this should peel right off. And actually when I'm looking at this, I don't need that piece because that's a three. And I'm only going to peel a couple pieces at a time. And I am just going to sprinkle my glitter on gently. And 
and I lost a piece up there. Darn it. Let's see, I wasn't careful. This heart should have a little crease in it. But kind of like you're doing tack it and burnish it on. Um, the finer the glitter, the better it's going to work on this adhesive. Okay, so I think I have most of the ones done. I'm going to move on to the twos. Um, it didn't occur to me how much overlap there's going to be in the threes, but I'm just going to roll with it because that's what I do. So, and some of my adhesive is already lifting. So, yeah. All right, so I did decide to switch from red to a purpley color. I'm gonna use Enchanted by Glitter Bees because I feel like this is really, really fine and will work better for this process. So that's gonna be my new color three. And these are gonna to start to run together some, so. Just because of the nature of the design but I think it'll be okay the more I look at it I hope so we'll find out here oops well heavy handed in my sprinkle it's kind of sitting on top of the light pink more than I would have liked is just a chip brush. I'm seeing if I can move some of that back off of there. I'll brush the whole thing down when I'm done. I mean, it is too late now. I'm committed. Okay, I've got a little Mod Podge in a small cup. I've got small brushes because I don't want to, um, if I get into some tight spots, I don't want it to get crazy. So one more color, I don't think I have too much pink on this brush so I'm just going to continue with this one.
I'm just trying to get a super thin coat so it doesn't get too lumpy over my seam. Okay, so other than letting the bottom dry and going back over that, I think I'm good. I had that one spot somewhere up here at the top that I messed up. I think it's this one's supposed to have a little bit of a lighter colored triangle in it, but I honestly don't think it's all that noticeable. So I think I'm just going to let it go. I am going to let this dry. I'm going to touch up the bottom one more time because it's still a little bit of a mess. And then I'm going to hopefully be able to get it spray sealed. And we'll be back to put it under epoxy. This is not going to get a decal of any sort. I'm just going to let it be what it'll be. Okay, so I sealed this as good as I can for as cold as it's been. And I'm going to get the epoxy on it. Hopefully it's not going to move a ton of glitter. But it's already a little ombre-ish to begin with. So if it moves a little, so be it. Some of my darker pink is very dark around that seam. But I mixed up 30 mLs for this because it is glitter. So it's going to soak in. See where this is darker. I really should have Mod Podged that entire heart, but too late now. I'm going to order some different double sided tape at some or double sided sheets at some point here. and take another run at this or a different file I actually have different templates cut but I don't I don't know that I want to use them I definitely want to do it if I do on an already painted tumbler because um, I do think that hurt me with the way my colors showed um, but really to review the file the file itself is fantastic um, works exactly the way it's supposed to so all of the mistakes are a hundred percent on me But I do think it's cute. I mean, so I'm just going to get it smoothed out and get it all coated. There's other templates that have been going around that I'm going to try and get my hands on that are going to require Mod Podge. Um, but there's all these like, you basically paint the Mod, paint, um, draw the Mod Podge on and glitter as you go that are pretty cool looking swirls on things. So I'm going to try and get to one of them soon here. Um, because they look pretty neat, but yeah, so that is it. Not a thousand percent perfect, but I think it's pretty cute overall. 
ignore the, you know, bright spots there. Um, it's definitely a functional template and looks pretty good overall. So overall, I'm happy with it. Not perfect, but you know, I'm not perfect. So <laughs> these things happen. Thanks for watching.